All right, on the cone bearing conversion, here's what I found out. So this is the stock spacer inside with the bearing, see? Now this one here sits lower. I measured one millimeter, but I'm not sure. It could be a half a millimeter. So I'm gonna take this tube here. I'm gonna start off by making it two millimeters longer. And if it's, you know, if it's not tight enough, then I'll shave another half millimeter off until it's right. And then I'll provide the update. So I'm just spinning it to make sure that everything's perfectly straight and it looks good. Yeah, I just measured. I'll guess where two millimeters is and then I'll just test it and measure it again after it's cut. So it looks like it's three millimeters longer, but how about if we go put it in a wheel on the bearing and we'll get an axle and we'll tighten it up and we'll check to see if there's any play. It's easy to take an extra millimeter off. Then when I measure it, I'll record it so people know for the future. All right, so three millimeters was way too high. So I got to shave off probably another one and a half millimeters and we'll check and see. All right, I just shaved a little more off, but we're gonna go put it in the wheel and see. It looks like it's still a little too high, but it won't take long to shave off another half millimeter. All right, so it's weird. So this one is not much longer than the stock shaft. And when I put it on, you see there's still a lot of play. So I'm thinking there's a possibility that the stock spacer might work. So I went and I tightened it up with the stock spacer. There is no movement. So I bet you that the spacer has to be about a half a millimeter longer for proper tension. So I'm going to go work on that now. So you see, I put my white line on there so I can see how much I'm taking off. I'm just going to put it back in and tighten it up now. Looks like it's about one and a half millimeters longer. All right, I torqued down the bolt and it feels really good. There's uh, no movement in there. So we're gonna go with this and hopefully we'll have good luck with these new bearings.